Easter Bunny was hopping down the bunny trail, but he stopped to take a rest in the flower garden. Let me show you how it's done. The materials. I picked my favorite blue and purple flowers. Started with the lovely bunny and it just shouted out for blue and purple. The container, one of my favorites from my stock shelf. So not available anymore, but isn't it great? Filled it with black midnight foam. To secure the bunny, a single U-glue strip. Just place it on his base. And then secure him directly on and I'm ready for designing. Lines first. Belladonna delphinium in the deep, deep cobalt blue. Letting it grow up like a garden behind the bunny. Nice and tall, creating parallel movement, but not making it perfectly straight. My garden's gonna be a little bit wild. And then adding in a little Veronica to soften that. A little more delicate in the purple. And repeat until I have a beautiful backdrop for the bunny. For brightness and to draw your eye down to the bunny, some allium will give us a little bit different color, that soft lavender. And then adding in some tulips, cutting them short because they're going to continue to grow. You want to make sure that they'll stay with the arrangement. Bring them down close with the bunny so that they draw your eye down. And then repeat, more tulips and more allium. To finish, a little bit of oryngium will add some fun texture and help conceal the rest of the mechanics. Some of it cut down even very, very low, right at the base of the foam. Then, for an unexpected surprise, bits of succulent plants. I love the fact that succulents are in style again, but sometimes it's more fun to design with them, cut them off, and then just set them right down in as a ground cover in the arrangement. The recipe, six stems of the Belladonna delphinium six stems of the Veronica, three allium, six tulips, a little bit of oryngium, and a little bit of the succulent plant. That's all. I know, I know you plant lovers are cringing because I cut up the succulent, but it's an added bonus. When you sell this to a client, tuck in a card that tells them to save that succulent Bring it back in and you'll plant it for them. You can get an add-on sale. Sell them a container, root the plant. You've got a double happy customer. You have a double sale. A small sacrifice to make a great add-on bonus gift for your customer. You'll find more creative inspiration on our website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there. But now, I challenge you. Find a plant, cut it up a little bit, and add it to your arrangement. Be sure to take a picture, post it on social media, and hashtag Floral Design Institute. That way I can see, and we all can see, what you do as you do something you love.